NSI AutoStore Bad Scan app. In a small medical practice, patient records pile up and cause a significant backlog. Each patient has at least four documents that need to be filed in their patient record chart folder. Staff, staff has to sort through nurses' notes, HIPAA release forms, IDs, and labs, and file them based on patient. Without the AutoStore Batch Scan app, the medical office would either forget to file or misfile into the wrong patient chart folder. Here is a barcode cover sheet, generator cover sheet. As you can see here, you have the chart number, visit number, document type, and visit date. So you begin to actually enter in the index information based on the patient and the document types that the patient needs to be filed upon. So for instance, in the visit date, you could type that in and the barcode will uh, be generated. So you just take this, you hit file and print and you have those four cover sheets printed based on the four document types that need to be filed on a patient record. Uh, they now use this barcode routing sheet to eliminate the manual process the staff has to go through to file the multiple uh, records for the patient and they sort the patient record based on document type. They place the barcode cover sheet on top of the corresponding uh, record type for example, the nurse's notes on the barcode cover sheet goes on top of the nurse's notes stack. Uh, the HIPAA release uh, barcode cover sheet goes on uh, the uh, HIPAA release forms and so on. The staff gathers the batch of documents with the barcode cover sheets neatly until it becomes a stack of documents or what we are calling a batch and then they walk up to the uh, MFP and they then hit the batch uh, scan automation smart app button. This record batch is uh, for Abolter Jones and will, uh, will be automatically placed in his patient record folder. Uh, if the chart folder exists, um, it will store it into the, uh, his existing chart uh, folder. If it doesn't exist, it would create a new patient uh, chart folder and store the four document types within it. So the document batch is scanned through. Each barcode uh, routing sheet denotes information to create the folder or store to a folder chart and separate the document types. Now let's see where um, how the files were stored. Several practices use a Windows folder structure to manage their records. This made it relatively painless to transition from filing patient records in a physical folder to the Windows electronic structure. Windows also has a very easy way to search folders and files within it. To retrieve Alberto Jones's documents, they type in Jones uh, a in the uh, Windows search and that narrows down the folders and as you can see we found his folder here and uh, we open up his chart folder and we see that the smart MFP app separated and categorized the patient record stack based on document type. For example Alberto Jones lab record which is here is now a searchable record which the staff can easily search and locate any part of uh, the document based on the keyword. The staff now uses uh, the reduced time to focus on their core mission which is uh, to provide improved and excellent patient care.